All right, here we go. Question number 23 from our college algebra homework number six in my lab math says use properties of logarithms to expand the logarithmic expression as much as possible. Evaluate logarithmic expressions without using a calculator if possible. And so here they've given me log base B of X squared Y over Z to the fifth. And I'm going to need to expand this as much as possible. So let's talk about the properties of logarithms and when it looks like there's multiple properties, which one to tackle first. Okay, so we have the product rule. We have the quotient rule. Whoops. Quotient rule. And we have the power rule. All right, so the product rule says if you're taking the log of something that's being multiplied, then you can separate those factors with addition. So we are taking the log, see the x squared and the y, those are being multiplied. So the product rule is in effect. The quotient rule says if you're taking the log of a fraction, then the numerator and the denominator can be separated with subtraction. So we do have the log of a fraction, so the quotient rule is in effect. And then the power rule says if you're taking the log of something with an exponent, that you can actually simplify that. And we do have a couple of exponents in here, so the power rule is also in effect. So all of these properties apply. Which one do I do first? Well, you've got to take the fraction first, okay? First, we're going to separate the product rule, separating the fraction into subtraction. Then we're going to do the product, I'm sorry, the quotient rule separates a fraction into subtraction. The product rule separates multiplication into addition. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to bring down the powers. All right, so here we go first. We're going to have log base B of the numerator, x squared y. And remember I said that a fraction turns into subtraction. So it'll be lo minus log base B of the denominator, z to the fifth. That is the quotient rule. If you're wondering what the freak just happened, that was the quotient rule. Okay, next we're going to apply the product rule. So the x and the y are going to get separated, each into their own log cabin. It's going to be log base b of x squared. Product turns into a plus. Log base b of y. And then we're going to bring down minus log base b of z to the fifth. Okay, so now what happened there? That was the power rule. The x and the y got separated. Product turns into a plus. Now for the last step, the power rule, again, says if you're taking the log of something with an exponent, you can take that exponent down to the front. So that exponent is going to become a coefficient. That'll be 2 log base b of x plus the y doesn't have a power to bring down, so it's just plus log base b of y. And then the z has an exponent that can come down, minus 5 log base b of z. And so then that was every property taken care of, okay? So the first step here was the quotient rule. Next we did the... Uh, product rule, and then next we did the POW, the power rule. And so this should be our final answer. Now before I plug that into my lab math, I do want to make you aware of a nice tool that you can use to check your work here that I hardly ever reference, and that's MathWay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input this original problem into MathWay and see if it will give us this answer that we just got manually. All right, here we go. We've got log right here, log base B. And I'm going to move over and select the fraction. 
x squared y, x, and if you look up here, it like it has intuition. It's like thinking, okay, you're probably going to want one of these next, and it's right. We want x squared and then y over z, and then again, it's trying to predict what comes next. We want z to the fifth, so we're going to have to come down here and go here to the fifth, and then if I click the arrow, oh, I'm going to have to scroll down. Look at that. That's compared to this. Spot on. So Mathway, again, is a nice tool that you can use to check your handwritten work. So let's put this in and see if Mathway, uh, not Mathway, my lab math agrees. To log. <laughs> Base B of X plus log, nope, log base B of Y minus five log base B of Z. And check it. And before I leave you, I do want to point out the most common mistake people will make on this problem is forgetting to put the base in there each time. So just remember that whatever that base is that you start with, that base has to be there no matter how much you expand it. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.